Hello Internet, thank you for clicking on my video. My name is Budget Sports, and today we'll be talking about the best sleeping bags for a first-time Boy Scout. Now before I begin the list, a little bit of background information will probably be helpful. Now if you are a Boy Scout growing up in the Northeast or Midwest area, you know how cold the winters will get. So you want a versatile sleeping bag that can go anywhere from summer temperatures all the way down to about 30 degrees. The reason why I list 30 degrees as the lower temperature Beyond that point in winter, you're really going to start to get into a different sleeping bag, whereas that kind of three season, autumn, summer, and spring sleeping bag will be very versatile. And also, since it's not going to be a 20 or a 10 degree bag, it'll be a lot more lightweight and easier to carry around. As for material of the sleeping bag, I would recommend synthetic, not only because it'll dry faster, just because it's cheaper and it's also a little bit easier to maintain for that first time sleeping bag owner. As a Boy Scout myself, I know some of the gear gets tossed around in the back of a minivan or two, so you're going to want something that'll be easily maintained and then won't get trashed after a few campouts. As for the price range of the bags that I'm going to list today, these bags go anywhere from about $50 to about $150. That's usually the price point where I see a lot of great options, but it really isn't breaking the bank for that mom and dad who just want to get their Boy Scout a really nice sleeping bag for that first big camp out. What this list will also provide is a really nice guide and gateway for a nice sleeping bag that will last the entire Scout's career. I actually use the same sleeping bag through my whole scouting years, and getting a good sleeping bag early is the key to getting a good night's rest on those long camp outs. Let's say, for instance, the scout wants to go on a high adventure in those last couple years of his scouting career. This list will offer a lot of great options just in case, so when that high adventure does come, he doesn't have to rebuy his bag or have his parents rebuy a bag. In the long run, it'll actually save you money to buy the best bag that fits your needs. As a side note, most sleeping bags on this list will come with a compression sack so that they can be crammed into a bag or a backpack for camping, like I said, high adventure, or any kind of camp out. The reason why I'm making this video is specifically for the young scout or parent who may be on the internet trying to find or make sense of a lot of information on the internet about camping and sleeping bags. And when I was a young scout, there wasn't a whole lot of resources specifically tailored towards scouts. So I felt with my experience and a little bit of product knowledge, I can help share that with people who are just trying to find a great deal and a great bag. So final note before I start off this list here, all these sleeping bags on this list are actually among my top favorites for this specific purpose. So no matter what bag you go with, all of these bags are great choices. And right now, most of them are actually on sale because of the season. So... Don't get too caught up on brand or color or price. Just think about what could be the best application for what you're doing. As the first option on the sleeping bag list, I have the REI Co-op Ambient 36 sleeping bag. Now what the number 36 means is that the general comfort rating of this bag is about 36 degrees. Not to say that you can't sleep outside with it being, let's say, 34 degrees, but 36 degrees is a general recommendation for this bag to be comfortable. Uh, going into some of the details, the price is listed as about 140 to 150 so it is on kind of the higher end of the scale here, but what you're getting for your money is a very nice, lightweight sleeping bag made out of microfiber synthetic that'll easily wash, and it also will be very versatile in warmer weathers. Another feature I really like about this sleeping bag is the fact that it's a mummy sleeping bag. So what that refers to is the design of the bag is actually that, kind of like a mummy. Uh, if you've ever seen kind of those, those mummy movies, they're all wrapped up in cloth. Think of it as in the bag envelops you and the only space that you can see once you're fully inside the bag is just your face. I like these bags specifically because it helps keep the warmth in versus kind of that square cut design that you would see kind of uh, as more of the basic design. Uh, mummy bags in total keep you warmer. Uh, even when you don't want to be as warm, you can just kind of lay outside the bag, but it's a great option to have just in case you need it. Anyone paying attention to the specs is going to notice that the regular length sleeping bag is going to fit about a 6 foot average man uh, and it weighs about 1 pound 15 ounces, which is relatively lightweight for this category. Next up on my list is the Kelty Tuck 30 degree sleeping bag. Here in this bag we have a 30 degree rating, so fairly similar to the REI bag that we talked about before. The main difference with this bag being it has the Thermapro insulation versus that, uh, versus that REI insulation. Another key difference between this bag and the REI bag is that it's going to be a little bit more tailored uh, as a relaxed fit versus more of a snug fitting for the REI. 
One key feature that this bag does have is a zipper at the bottom of the bag to actually let your feet air out while you're sleeping. I like this feature. It doesn't come in handy in the winter when it's fairly cold, but in those summer months when you just want to kind of breathe, uh, let your feet breathe more, it does come in handy. As for price, it looks like this list price is about $80 normal. Uh, with Amazon Prime, it looks like you can get for about $58.87. As a side note to these two sleeping bags, it looks like both these bags don't actually come with their own compression sack from the factory. What a compression sack basically allows you to do is buckle down the bag, kind of compressing it into a smaller capacity so that you could fit it inside of a backpack. These guys run about 15 bucks from Kelty. Not too, not too bad, but again, it's a really helpful tool to kind of compress the bag, especially when you're trying to save weight and size. As for the third bag on my list, I have the Marmot Trestles 30 degree sleeping bag. This bag, again, it's a 30 degree synthetic, pretty relaxed cut, it's a mummy bag, so you know the warmth is going to be trapped in really easily. Very machine washable, really easy to maintain. This bag is actually my favorite on the list just because Marmot builds such a high quality of gear. I find that this might be the, one of the best values currently out there. I really like the insulation. This bag, I used it for many years personally and helped keep me warm on a lot of campouts. It does come with a compression sack, unlike the other two, at a price of about... $80. Right now it's 20% off for the sale and it looks like you can get free two-day shipping on the Marmot website. But overall, I really recommend this bag just because the high build quality, they've got a great warranty on it, and it's just an all-around really nice piece of equipment. Coming from the trestles, another bag that I have listed here on the list is the Lamnia Z Spark from Mountain Hardware. This is a 34 degree bag. What this bag offers is a little bit more comfort and a lot of loft insulation. Again, Mountain Hardware is another great manufacturer of really high end quality equipment. The reason why I like this bag and I put this one on the list is because it features Mountain Hardware's Thermocule insulation. I've had this kind of insulation in a lot of my jackets. Overall, it lasts super long and retains its heat very well. I also like this bag because it's got a nylon shell with a DWR treatment that helps repel water. Overall, this bag is going to be relatively lightweight at 2 pounds 1 ounces, and it should be able to fit about a 6 foot human. The Trestles 30 looks like it weighs about 3 pounds 1 ounce. The Kelty Tuck looks like it weighs about 2.6 pounds. As the final item on my list here, a little bit of an oddball, I do have a military surplus modular sleep system on this list for about $110. Now what this is, is a decommissioned piece of military gear. Essentially it's a used sleeping bag that was used by someone in the military at some point, has been cleaned, has been washed, uh, it's been looked after, treated, repaired if necessary, and it is available to sale for the pu to, to the public for sale. What this bag contains is actually a unique system that contains three bags in one. Uh, you're going to get an inside lightweight sleeping bag, an outer, more heavyweight sleeping bag, and actually a Gore-Tex baby cover for waterproof. And Gore-Tex meaning the waterproof membrane that coats on the outside of the nylon shell. The reason why I put this one on the list is because of its versatility. Like I said, you do get three different sleeping bags in one. So say it's very cold outside, negative 20, negative 10, you know, it's, it's a Michigan winter. You're going to want to throw on all three of those bags and you're going to be protected from the snow, rain, and ice. Uh, say it's a little bit warmer outside and you don't need the Gore-Tex baby cover and the and outside sleeping bag You can just use that inside one and run in a relatively high temperature for a first-time camper This pack's not going to be as lightweight as you're going to want But someone who's looking for the versatility of owning just one sleeping bag and maybe doesn't really care too much about that weight or the space the modular sleep system is a really good deal at 110. There are a few out there available for less money, but I like to spend a little bit more money. That'll ensure you're going to get a really nice condition modular sleep system. The ones available for 60, 70, 50. As you go down in price, you tend to get more patch kits, more holes. They're a little bit more used, not as a nice condition. As a safe bet, I would say spend about $100 on yours and you're going to get a really great deal. Well, that's the end of my list. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. I will respond to everyone that comments. Thank you very much. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks, guys.